guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and today is Pumpkin Day. I got leggings that have pumpkins on them, and uh, of course I have my, my pumpkin hat. It doesn't matter because today is Wednesday, which is um, Wednesday Wipeout, otherwise known as 52 Washcloths or a year of washcloths that way that way there there we go so um what is a year of washcloths well jokingly let, let me let me back up a minute sam from Memphis makes had just finished doing 100 crochet tiles i joined in on a few of them i was late but I did get quite a few done, and then they went to um, mosaic, and I'm not very good at mosaic, so I was like, I I'm done. Well, when she finished that, I jokingly on a live said, or on a live, I jokingly said, hey, let's start this book now that Sam's done. Said book is right here on top of all the stuff that I'm just dropping. Let me get my my stand up. There we go. And actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I, uh, I don't think you can. I actually have Sam. I'm watching her crochet catch up. But I was holding this book up, and I'm going to show it to you real quick. A Year of Dishcloths. And jokingly, I said, hey, let's start this. And I put it down, and then I read in the comments, I double dog dare you. Can you guess who that double dog dare was from? None other than Fuzzy Butt herself. And then shortly after that came my triple dog dare you. That was from my Brie Cog. Yes, lovely Brie from Brie's Crafty Creations. So, you know, when you're double dog dare and triple dog dare, you can't say no. You've got to do it. So here we are. We're doing a year of dish claws, one, one a week. And I'm starting with the winter edition. Now, this you're getting ready to see the reveal of week five. We have done a penguin, a wreath, a snowman, and um, gingerbread house. I can even show you those because I have them all right here. So, the first of the double dog dared washcloths was the penguin. Isn't he cute? Yeah, he's going to my husband. Um, and I then I think the second one was this wreath one. Isn't that one cute? And then we had the Rudolph, whose antlers are totally wrong, but that's okay. A lot of people don't know about, I don't know, piece of paper somehow. And then we had the gingerbread house. Mine is very, very wonky, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, because handmade isn't always perfect. At least not in my eyeballs anyway. So, um, this week... Uh, here, our finished project is going to be this right here. Let me, right here. The poinsettia, very easy. I, the pain in the butt thing for me was sewing in ends, but that's pretty much how it is all the time. So, this was our uh, dishcloth for the week. You'll get to see everybody's um, who sent one in. 
Um, I think I have like about 40 of them so far that I am currently working um, on the video to get them all uploaded. And then I will add this to it. And then you'll be able to see the slideshow. So, the yarn I used is... Um, Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. Um, and I got these on clearance at Joanne. So I used red, which is called cherry, and this one is lime. And I used uh, peaches and cream in the color sunshine. All of these are 100% cotton. Um... The peaches and cream is two and a half ounces and 120 yards. And these are uh, three and a half ounces and 153 yards. So there's that. And I used um, scraps of white. Actually, uh, this is the white that I used and that's what I have left. So, the other one did not get used, but it did get unwound quite a bit. And, as always, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. So, if you guys want to see my beauty creation, because it is beautiful. I actually, I like this one. And I did do it a little different. So, here we go. This is mine. Is that the... That's the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. I did do this part different. I didn't like the hole that was in there. So um, I did two rounds of yellow and closed it up. And there we go. And that's it. It is done. Yep, that's it. So, um... Aside from staying tuned for the slideshow, would you guys like to find out what dishcloth is next? Because I have all of the winter, all of the ones left from the winter collection in this bagging. No duplicates. I just wrote them all down. Let me pull my sleeves up. Okay, so there we go. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. Maybe ten. I don't know. So here we go. Uh, Matilda is up there sleeping, and I think Persephone is outside looking for another meal. She supplements cat food with her other meals. That's okay. That's what cats do. She was a wild cat for the longest time, and um, that's how she survived. So I certainly can't take that out of her. Alrighty, here we go. I have three. Now I'm down to one. So let's see. I'm hoping it's an easy one. Uh, oh, it could be, or it could be not. Uh, 57. Well, 67. 59. Oh, this is an easy one. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I can't fold it in half, so I'll have to come up this way. There we go. That is the one we are doing now. Another easy one should only take maybe about an hour. And uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. There's some ends to sew in. And 
Um, I'm not sure how that hat is working. I might have to to do that one a different way. And uh, that mouth. Hmm. Yeah, not sure how that one is going on either. So, there we go. That is the snowman that we are doing. And I just dropped the thing. I'll pick it up. It is on page... The picture of the snowman is on page 57. And the pattern starts on page 58. Um... For the snowman, there's seven rounds. For the hat, there's eight. Uh, yeah, so shouldn't be too long at all. So um, don't forget to stay for the slideshow. Um, I haven't seen any of them yet. Um, I I norm I wait unless I um accidentally click on it um, while they're being shuffled around. Um, I try not to look at them and wait until I put them in my video. Uh, so I have not seen any of these yet. I haven't seen any of, of the colors used. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah. There we go. Snowman is next on page 57. I'm almost positive. Let me check again. Yes, Snowman on page 57. So, um, don't forget to stay for the slideshow. Um, don't forget, you guys have all been double dog dared and triple dog dared too to join us for a year of making dish claws. And they don't have to be dish claws. You can use them for anything. Um, decorations for Christmas. Why not? But we are we are going to be staying a season ahead while we are doing this. So after winter comes spring. So yeah, we'll be doing spring ones in the middle of winter. Yeehaw! It's all right. It is all right. So with that in mind, um. Don't forget, stay for the slideshow. And thanks, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.